Hi, I'm Vince. Um, we're in the Micromark workshop today, and I'm going to show you my little friend here. It's the Micromark Precision Drill Press, number 81631, um, made in Japan for Micromark. Um, it comes packed with a whole bunch of features, which I'm going to discuss. Basically, the way you're looking at it is the way it came out of the box. Um, the drill press is, uh, is lowered down on the column, solids, no flex steel column. Uh, there's double clamps on the column for the ca casing of the motor that you loosen and it allows you to raise the drill press up and then lock it into position with both clamps. Comes with a full set of instructions. So now the head's firmly clamped onto the column. Comes with some packing material that needs removed. This protects the threads on the bottom of the spindle, which is can be discarded now. It comes with a handle that you can thread on to the tool, which will allow you to raise and lower the spindle. It comes with a chuck and a key. The chuck simply threads on to the spindle and raise it all the way up and firmly put it on as the key in which you raise and lower the, th the three jaw chuck to clamp down onto your drill press, um, not drill press, to clamp down onto your drill bits. Um, it has a sliding gauge that it comes with. You loosen the sliding gauge and this can be moved all the way back or all the way forward or completely off the drill press if you don't plan on using it. Um, and in this case, I'm going to leave it on for the moment because I want to show you an accessory that we sell for this drill press. Um, as I mentioned, it's made in Japan for us. It has an inch and a quarter of spindle travel. Um, the chuck to the base is seven inches max from oh, as high as you can get it. So you've got seven inches underneath it to use. The distance from the center of the chuck to the column is five and a half inches. The column diameter in the back is a little over three quarters of an inch. The chuck capacity is one sixty-fourth to one quarter inch. The drive spindle and system is a three-step pulley. Loosen the screw on the top, pull off the cover. Allows you to engage the belt on three different steps for three different speeds. 2100 RPMs. 4500 RPMs and 6500 RPMs. So you've got high speed for wood, you've got slow speed for plastics, and you've got medium speeds and slow speeds for metals. Um, the spindle thread is a 3 8 24. The base is 5 inches by 9 inches. The headstock and base construction are cast aluminum. It weighs only 8 pounds. Um, it's 14 inches tall. It has a small footprint, so it's not going to take up a lot of room on your bench. It's got a high torque motor in it, so you're going to be able to do all the drilling you possibly want to use. On-off switch is located on the back right side of the unit. It comes with several accessories that are options. One that's probably a must for any workbench is a vise. So in order to hold whatever you're going to be drilling securely so it doesn't fly around um, and the bit gets stuck and throws your piece that you're drilling. Um, this has a two by one and a quarter inch capacity. Um, what's neat about this is it's also made in Japan. It's mated for this saw. It's got these slots cut out in the bottom that fit right over top of that sliding gauge I was talking to you about before. So if I were to loosen this screw and slide that where I need to, I would set that right on top. And now I can position this wherever I need to position it in order that it lie directly underneath the drill bit and whatever I was going to drill into. And like I said, it can be positioned both ways over that bar. So you would tighten and then you're, you're in, locked in place and this can slide. So that's one accessory we have for it. Um, another add-on that we have is the drill press belt. 
Um, it's probably pretty important whenever you buy any tool to pick up an extra drive belt. Though the drive belts that are used on this tool do last quite a long time. We've had several around here that are still running and are 10 plus years old. Um, it's still nice to have one because you don't know when it'll ever snap and usually it's at a point in time when it's not convenient. And you can just quickly and easily slap on a new belt underneath the cover at the top. That is 15117 and the vise is 15118. Okay, so um, that was the drill press vise that I just showed you. I'm going to remove the sliding gauge now that it sat upon. Put that to the side for the moment. I'm going to discuss this other accessory that Micromark has. Um, manufactured for us in Japan as well, just like the tool, the drill press, the vise, and the other components for this unit. Um, manufactured in Japan. It's an XY table. Um, the X axis goes left and right. The Y axis goes in and out. Um, it comes with a complete set of instructions. This can be mounted directly to the drill press, which is already has the holes to accept its mounting. Um, it can also be mounted to our other variable speed drill press that we carry. And additionally, uh, we supply the instructions and the template that you can use to mount this XY table to a drill press of your own. Um, it allows for repositioning the table in increments of a thousandth of an inch. Each hand wheel has 50 thousandths nicks on it so that you're sure to return when you do one full revolution it's 1 20th of an inch. Um, they are resettable so if you needed to move 10 thousandths in another direction you'd simply move the dial 10 thousandths and turn back to zero. Um, again all the hardware all the instructions come with this unit. Additionally um, it comes with a bag of hardware that allows you to mount not only the XY table to your, your drill press, um, it comes with the hardware in order to mount a vise on top of the XY table. Um, it also comes with two clamp hold downs that can be mounted to it so that if you did not want to use the drill press vise at this time and you wanted to use the hardware and mount an odd shaped item or a larger item onto the, bait, the top of the XY table, you could easily do that with all of the hardware that comes provided. Nuts, bolts, Allen wrenches. The gibs on the XY table are adjustable. Um, you want to reduce as, as much backlash um, on any XY type table. Um, so this is another accessory we have for the drill press. Um, additionally, uh, Micromark has a, a wide range of drill bits that we offer. A drill press is only good as the bits that are installed in it. Uh, this is the, is the 86672. It's our number one through number 60 high speed drill bit set that's tin coated uh, for four times the life compared to regular high-speed drill bits. Um, Micromark sells carbide drill bits. We sell 60-piece sets. We sell 120-piece sets. Uh, carbide fishtail router drills. Um, just go to the Micromark homepage and um, under the accessories for um, machining you'll find drill bits and there are a lot of options out there and we pretty much cover it all. Thanks for coming by.